Hello, welcome to Accounting 100. This is Accounting for Small Business. This is for the spring semester, which is a 16-week online course, and it will run from February 1st, 2016 through May 29th, 2016. Basically, for this lecture, what I will be going over is what is expected from you for this course, as well as go over the expectations for week one, and, and then I will finish by talking about a little bit about myself. My name is Dr. Susana Castellanos Gaona, and so let's begin. This is the view from your end of Blackboard. If you click on the home page, you will see a brief statement that welcomes you to Accounting 100 and it directs you to the syllabus and the assignment schedule below. So let's click on the sub and the syllabus and we'll start from there. Again, this is for the spring 2016 course. My name is Dr. Susana Castellanos Gaona. I am best reached at by email. I actually have it linked to my phone, so I have access to my email account 24-7. This is my office phone. I am actually a full-time manager at Golden West College. I oversee the student success and support program and student equity. And so my primary job is to manage these two programs full-time at Golden West. So I will be on campus for Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. And this is my office phone number and direct extension. I am providing you with my cell phone as well. I only receive and I ask you to only please send me text messages to my cell phone unless it's an emergency and you need to get a hold of me and I am unable to be reached to my office. But if it's not an emergency, just please text me or send me an email. This is section 60007, so if this is not the course that you want to be in, please make sure that you drop this course and switch to the um, section that you want to add to. The course del delivery, like I said, is strictly online. This is not a hybrid course. Some of the hybrid course, what that means is that you meet online and on campus. This is not what it is here. This is strictly online, so we will be completing everything via the computer and through Blackboard. My office is located in Administration 121. This is actually inside the Answer Center. For those of you that are aware of the enrollment in Answer Center, if you walk into the Answer Center, you will see on one end of that building glass, a, a small glass wall. My office is behind the glass wall. There's no way to get um, lost once you go in there. So it, w there's two ways to get into the building, one from the front and the back. doesn't matter which way you get into, but just look for that glass wall and my office is behind there in Administration 121. I don't offer office hours on a weekly schedule. I do offer them by appointment only. And the reason for that is the obvious because this is an online course. Many of you may be taking this course that are um, unable to go to campus on a weekly basis or at all, depending if you are far away from campus. So the way that I try to accommodate any questions is to just uh, send me an email and we will accommodate you by scheduling an appointment. We could do it uh, via Google Hangout or through the phone or if you're on campus, come to my office. Whatever the mode may be, we could discuss that based on your needs, but we need to schedule it by appointment only, okay? That way I don't waste your time and, I, and you don't waste mine. We have a set schedule when we um, have agreed to meet and we will be ready uh, to discuss whatever questions you may have. This course, the description is, is a beginning course in practical accounting as applied to merchandising firms, professional individuals, and to personal service operations. You will become familiar with practical accounting procedures by completing weekly assignments based on lectures and textbook readings, and some problems will be solved using computer applications. And what I mean by computer applications, I mean Excel. Um, if you are not familiar with Excel, I will be uh, teaching you what you need to know, so there's no need to worry if you uh, feel like you're not 
um, 100% uh, confident in using the application. The student learning objectives is that by the end of this course, you will be able to use, utilize basic accounting principles and practices, including journals, ledgers, worksheets, and financial statements. And you, need, you will be able to demonstrate knowledge of accounting methods commonly employed in a personal service enterprise, retail business, or professional office. And you will be able to uh, develop valuable accounting tools for the workplace as well as a foundation for further study in accounting. This is a Accounting 100. This is not part of the series which starts in Accounting 101. So uh, there's no prerequisite to begin in Accounting 101. It's, re it's recommended that you start in Accounting 100 if you have zero accounting experience. So this will be either the basics for you in accounting or for those that do have an accounting background, some kind of accounting background, this will be a refresher. The required textbook, we are in the 12th edition of the Accounting Principles, Accounting for a Small Business, and it does come with Wiley Plus Access Code. So it's very important that when you buy a textbook, if you buy it used, you, it's not going to work if it doesn't have the Wiley Plus Access Code. The way that this course will work, you will be completing your homework assignments, your quizzes, and your tests through this Wiley Plus pl platform. So I will be posting everything in there on all you got to do is go in there, access um, your assignments and complete them online. There's no need for you to do it on a piece of paper and somehow delivering it to me. It's all going to be electronic through this Wiley Plus uh, platform. It's very, very important that you get that access code. If you only buy the access code, the, the price is not going to be much different, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure how much it is at the bookstore for the book and the Wiley Plus access code. I will show you how much it is uh, for just the access code here when I show you in a minute on how to access the Wiley Plus platform. Uh, but um, if you only get the access code, you do have the book online when you buy the access code. So you will have an online version of the textbook. If you're a person that needs to have the physical textbook in your hands, I know I'm one of those and you would, I would suggest that you buy the book with the access code through the bookstore. And you will also need a basic calculator. There's no need to go buy yourself an expensive calculator, no scientific or financial calculator required, just a simple basic calculator that can add and subtract. The grading. Uh, late assignments will be reduced by 10% per day. Well, it says per day, but the way that I've been doing it in the past is 10% if after the due date. If you turn it in, I deduct 10% automatically. Uh, the way that it's broken down is we have attendance and, acti and active participation, which is 10% of your grade. You may wonder how is it that I'm going to be counting attendance and active participation through an online course. I do have assignments that are that have specific due dates, which I will go over in a few. And the way that I count attendance is that you are accessing uh, the assignments and turning them in on time. And the active participation is also um, tracked through the online system. So the way that I have things set up is I have it set up in a way that if you click on something, it's tracking you how long you're in there and what you're doing. And that's the way that I'm going to be checking your attendance and active participation. If I see that you are not accessing my lectures, if I see that you're not accessing um, some of the documents that I may have up there, and you're just doing the bare minimum, you may not earn your 10% participation. I need you to be actively here um, week after week, turning in your assignments, and being active in the class by clicking on everything that I have posted for you for each folder for each week. You're also going to have homework assignments as 10% of your grade. You're going to have chapter quizzes. We will be going over eight chapters in this course. So after each chapter, you will be having a quiz. You will have a project that's worth 20% of your grade. That's towards the end of the semester. You will have four exams and a final which is comprehensive. So four exams is 40% of your grade plus 10% for your final and it's comprehensive which means that the final will cover every single chapter that we have covered in the class from the beginning. 
and this is this uh, course this grade system will be weighted based on the percentages that you see here okay so it could hurt you or it could help you if you're the person that will turn in every single assignment and you try your best the weighted average of these grades will help you it will boost your grade but if you don't it will hurt you and just um I've taught this course, this is my third semester, and I have seen a pattern already that my, those students that completely give up in the middle of the semester or don't even try at all will fail my class. However, all those students that have genuinely attempted every single assignment in my course and have done averagely well have passed my class with an A or a B. I've seen that in the past two semesters that I've um, taught this course. So there is a pattern. If you are willing to give the time and the uh, honest effort, you will do good in my class. However, if you decide to fall behind or not even complete, I will provide that F for you. And, and that's just being fair. If you try, you will do good. If you don't, I'm going to have to give you the grade that you deserve as well, okay? The final grade for this course will be awarded using the following percentage scale. Anything above a 90% is an A. Anything above an 80% is a B. Anything above a 70% is a C. And any, anything above a 60% is a D. And anything below 59% is F. Again, um... I do track activities and participation, and it's an effective factor for learning. So I, um, I try to give you the material that you need and try to be straightforward with what you need to learn in order to be successful in the next accounting course, which is Accounting 101. And all activities we'll be using Blackboard, will be through Blackboard, and within Blackboard, we're going to have that Wiley Plus access to complete all, your, all of your assignments. Again, here, the homeworks will be completed with, um, online with Wiley Plus, and anything that is late will be reduced by 10%. Same thing for the quizzes. The quizzes will be available through Wiley Plus, and they will be familiar to the do-it exercises in each chapter. Once we go through each chapter, that will make sense to you uh, with what I'm trying to say here. And the quizzes says here that they are timed, I have tried timing them in the past, and I've also um, increased the time um, based on the on the needs of the course. So um, this, what it says here on the syllabus will be the strictest factors that I will abide by, but it doesn't mean that I won't be flexible about it. I have given a limited time on quizzes before, so I will consider that uh, based on how the class is doing throughout the course. Late quizzes are not accepted. Notice that homework assignments are accepted, but they are 10% uh, reduced for the grade. Quizzes do not apply to that. So I need to make sure to communicate to you that you need to complete your quizzes on time. Otherwise, I will not accept them and I will record them as a zero and no makeup quizzes will be given. There will be a project at the end of the course, which will be worth 20% of your total grade. In this uh, project, you can work independently or in groups, no more than four groups per student. And basically, the, the project is very, fairly simple. It's just to make sure that um, I give you a project where you can demonstrate that you have learned the basic concepts of accounting in order for you to be successful in Accounting 101. There will be four exams in this course administered throughout the duration of the course, and they will consist of multiple choice and problem questions. Again, no makeup exams will be given, so I need you to make sure that you have uh, given the time necessary for you to complete each assignment by the due dates, and we'll discuss what the due dates are in a minute. The final will be comprehensive, so that it means that we will cover all the chapters throughout the course. So just because we have finished with one chapter doesn't mean the Let's erase it and, and forget about it forever. It will come back to you. And you will see that the course here will actually build from chapter to chapter. So even though we have covered a chapter, we have done an exam, doesn't mean that we will not be using those concepts to further up um, your, your knowledge base for accounting throughout the remaining chapters. 
and they will also be multiple choice and problem questions. No extra credit will be given in this class, and like I said before, there's no need for extra credit. If you honestly try every single assignment and you try your best, you will, you will see that you will not need the extra credit. But for those that try to give up in the middle of the class or, or they just never drop or whatever the reason may be, I do not count on extra credit. And I will be after you if I see that you are missing an assignment. I will follow up with you to see what, what is going on and how I can help you to make sure that you keep up with the course. I have a strong belief that we are here to facilitate successful students and for the student to successfully pass the class. And you will know that uh, I, even though my, my guidelines may seem rigid, that I am a fair person and I'm here and I care about you being successful and I will help you as much as I can in order for you to be successful and pass the course. There is a statement here for academic honesty policy. Make sure you read that and there's more. Uh, the full policy is within this link here. Also, the statement for student code of conduct. Uh, please make sure that you are courteous to your peers, whether we meet online or live. Uh, make sure that anything that is discussed is discussed in a professional manner. There is the um, policy for college harassment and discrimination and the full uh, policies within the link as well. Please make sure that we are committed to an environment that is free of any form of harassment or discrimination of any kind. And it is my duty and, the stu and, the stu and your duty as well as a student on campus to assure compliance within this policy. Uh, otherwise, it will, be, it will be reported immediately to the vice president's office for further action. I have included uh, important drop dates for this course. Last day to add this class is Sunday, February 14th, 2015. If you need to add my course, please send me an email to see if I still have space and let you into the course. And the last day to add is February 14th, 2015. 2016, actually. All these dates are wrong, actually. They need to say 2016. So I will be updating this, um, this syllabus for you. The last day to drop with a refund is February 13th. The last day to drop without a W is the 14th of February. And the last day to drop with a W is on Sunday, May 1st. And then if you need any further help, whether with myself or if you need further help with another student or a tutor, there's always a Student Success Center that I always like to refer students to. And that's located in the new library building, which is LRC 129. And that's pretty much it for the syllabus. Now let's go to the assignment schedule, which is also under the home page. And if you notice, I go week by week, very specific as to what's going to be happening and what's going to be due. For week one, this week is pre pretty easy. All we need to do is talk about the introduction, which is what I'm doing now in terms of the syllabus and also Wiley Plus, <coughs> excuse me. And the assignments is going to be um, going over the introduction lecture, which you are listening to right now. We, you have to purchase your textbook or your access code, whatever you may choose. Register for Wiley Plus, um, complete student introductions. I'll show you everything, all of these assignments in a minute, and then complete the next actions worksheet. And notice that we have due dates here. This uh, first week assignment is due by Sunday, February 7th, 2016 by 11.59 p.m. The way that I will work on a weekly basis, the week will begin on a Monday. So our week will begin tomorrow, Monday, February 1st, 2016. And it will end Sunday, February 7th, 2016 by 11.59 p.m. Not 12 p.m. midnight. That will be the next day, February 8th. So I purposely put in 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. And that's the way it will be, that it will be every single week. We will start the new assignments on Monday and you will have an entire week to complete it at your own time. Notice that I only have week one available right now. That is on purpose. I will only re be releasing one week at a time. So on Monday of every week, I will be releasing the next folder and it will be will remain open for the remainder of the semester. 
but assignments will be due that following Sunday by 11.59 p.m. And that's basically how we have it set up for the remainder of the semester. It'll be just going over one chapter at a time. I will have my lecture. I will have some activities for you. I will have the homework assignment and a quiz. And when we come to the exam on that and on that week, we will not cover any new material. All we will do is review for chapters one and two through the lecture, and then you will have to be responsible for taking the first test and so on. I have every single uh, week listed here. Please review it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I've added any holidays like the week, uh, week nine, which is Monday, March 28th through April 3rd. There's spring rest recess, so we don't have class there. And then the other holidays are coming up, which will not be affecting our course anyway because we will be on the week system. But if you have classes on a Friday um, or on Monday, that will affect you for um, Lincoln Day and Washington Day. And our last day of the course is right here, Monday. Uh, that week is the Monday, May 23rd, and, and Sunday, May 29th, and that's just the final exam. Okay, so let's go over week one. <clears throat> this uh, Once you click on each week, you will see what is due for that week. I will try to put a blurb in the very top as to what is expected from you for each week. For week one, the following assignments are due by 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, February 7th, 2016. You have to complete the introduction lecture video, which you are listening to right now. You have to complete your student introductions, and the student introductions are below. What I try to do is that any assignment that is due, I have it listed by order, okay? And all you will do here for student introductions is just like a discussion board for those that have taken a class before online. And this is the only discussion board that you will see throughout the week, throughout the semester. What I need is this, I need you to go in here and create um, a space for you to introduce yourself. I want your name, the program of study at Golden West. Are you here to complete a certificate program? Are you here to complete an associate's degree program? Are you here just to take courses to transfer? And what area is that in? Is it in accounting? Is this in business or something different? Engineering, what is that? The city where you live, why you're taking this course, are you planning to major in accounting, are you a business owner, so you just want to brush up on some basic accounting uh, principles that you can use in your own business, or are you planning to get your associate's degree in accounting, are you planning to be a, a CPA, you want to go all the way to your master's and take that CPA exam and work on um, preparing people's taxes at the corporate level. What is your, why are you taking this course? And then write something interesting about you. So that won't show you that you would just need to click on this. And you will already see that I've already included my own introduction. So I'll take a little time to talk to you about who I am. Like I said, my name is Dr. Susana Castellanos Gaona. I've been here, I have over 16 years of experience in higher education in the area of academic affairs. I've been at Golden West for the last 10 years, and my current role is that I am a manager of the Student Success and Support Program and Student Equity, and I oversee roughly about $5.5 million, and I follow fiscal and accounting guidelines in order for me to follow that money, which is one of the reasons why I teach this course. In terms of my education, I have a doctorate degree from the University of Southern California, USC. For those that are USC fans, fight on. And um, I did that in educational leadership with a concentration in higher education administration. I also have a master's degree in business administration with a specialization in management accounting from National, National University. And my under, undergraduate degree was in liberal studies from California State University, Fullerton. I live in Anaheim, right next to Disneyland, and that is what I do on my own time with my kids and my family, my husband. My husband's retired. He's a military veteran, and I have two uh, lovely boys that you probably will hear in the background here and then. You'll probably hear them now. They're trying to get into my room right now while I'm um, recording this lecture. One of them's nine years old, and the other one's two years old. And this is a picture of me and my family. 
and like I said, I live in Anaheim, so I technically kind of live in um, Disneyland. We have Disney passes, so when we have time, we are there. And um, and that's pretty much it. So what I need you to do is actually um, reply to this or start your own forum, and then um, reply to my either my my introduction or start your own. And that's the way that I'm going to be recording that you have attended my class on this first week. So I need you to do at least this as soon as possible so that I know that you are active in the class and I don't give up your seat to somebody else that is trying to add the course. So my number one thing that I need you to do is re um, say something about yourself so I could take attendance. Okay, so then you go back to week one. The other thing that you need to do is purchase your textbook with Wiley Plus Access Code. You could do that through the bookstore. They will have the textbook with the access code. <coughs> or you could just buy the access code. By the end of week one, I need you to have your textbook or your Wiley Access Code or whatever that is. I need you to also be registered for Wiley Plus. If you don't have money now to buy your textbook, I understand. Wiley Plus allows you to get an access code for 14 days as a trial. So this is what you will do. You will click to this link that says Wiley Plus Registration. And it will take you to the Wiley Plus page. And let's hope that it doesn't take too long to do it. So like you, like you, it will take you to this page and it says Registration Code Required. If you already purchased your textbook, with an access code, enter the access code here and press on the continue button and answer the questions until you have finished. And that's all you gotta do, then you're um, registered for Wiley Plus. If you don't have a registration code, you can buy the code here, just the code, and it will give you access to the textbook e-version online. And it's $132.50, it's very expensive, and I apologize for that. I don't choose the book. I, I, um, the department chooses the book, so I have no say into um, the price or the book that we use. I have to follow what the department wants me to use. I don't know how much it costs at the bookstore. You might want to find out what the difference in cost is, but I guarantee you that it's not that much of a difference for those that want to save money. It may be a few dollar difference, and then you get an actual textbook. Um. If you don't want to buy the access code yet or you need to wait for your financial aid money or whatever that is, you do have 14 days grace period and you could do that by clicking here and it will actually, actually allow you to access everything for 14 days before having to pay or providing a registration code. <coughs> so this provides you an opportunity to catch up if, you have, um, if you're having um, problems or uh, uh, finding the money or you're waiting for a check to come through but 14 days is more than enough there should not be any excuse after 14 days as to why you have not accessed your 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 textbook okay once you finish registering you will see that it will take you to an assignment ignore the assignment I only put a dummy assignment on this link for the purpose for you to register for Wiley plus I get this question every single time, and that's how I notice when people are not watching my lectures. They ask me, why do I have to do this? It's not on the syllabus. You don't have to do it. It's not on the syllabus. It's just a dummy link for me to provide to you so that you can register for Wiley Plus. So once you're done, it will take you to what looks like an it's an assignment, but it's not an assignment. Ignore it, okay? Okay, once you do that, then you have in, completed the lecture, you have done the introduction, you've purchased the book or the access code or the 14-day trial, and you have registered for Wiley Plus. You've earned already like 200 points for this course, seriously. That's very easy for you to learn, earn full credit this first week. The last thing you need to do is the next actions list. And what you need to do here is complete this sheet. What you need to do is click on the link. I have a Mac, so it takes me to the downloads. 
and it's going to take you to this sheet right here. This is an Excel sheet. What I've done here is completed the accounting block for you. This is something that I learned while I was taking some um, training on how to teach and increase student success. And I like to include this every time at the beginning of my course because it allows an op and gives an opportunity to you to assess what your commitments are for the semester and make a decision whether you need to stay in this course or any other course that you're taking for the semester, whether you, whether you need to drop it, modify, or increase number of hours of study or whatever. It's a self-assessment for you to make a decision if what you're deciding to take this semester is adequate or not. So what you need to do, I provided an example for you. You're taking my class accounting G100 and your goal hopefully is to get an A grade. And what I've done here is provide you an estimate of the minimum number of, uh, of time that you are required to, to spend time on each of these assignments in order for you to be successful in my class. You're going to have weekly readings and I, I estimate there's going to take you between an hour and two hours to read the chapter. We're going to have weekly lectures. I'm going to try to keep it at 30 minutes, but, you know, I have an obligation to teach you longer. So I will try my best to keep it as short as I can, but at least it's going to be 30 minutes. Weekly activities are going to take you at least one hour. Weekly homework, at least one hour. Weekly quizzes, at least one hour. When days of exams, is going to take you at least two hours, and the final is going to take you three hours. And the project's going to be two to three hours. So I estimate that you need approximately five hours per week in my class in order for you to be successful. And what I need you to do for the rest, if you're taking another course, let's say Business 100, College 100, History, whatever that course is, add it to each of these blocks. One block per course. And also, if you are working, I want to see the role here, and you're going to put down um, work right here work and your goal is obviously to go to work every day not get fired and put down how many hours you work do you work full time put full time and that means you work 40 hours a week do you have several part-time jobs then put part-time job and how many hours a week that is okay and then what you're gonna do is add up the weekly commitment down here Maybe you are a caregiver, maybe you take care of your parents or somebody else in your family, then put caregiver here. And what your goal is, is to provide adequate care, or whatever that goal is, and what requirements that is. Maybe you need to send, um, take them grocery shopping, take them shopping. And you know that's gonna take at least one hour a week. <clears throat> maybe you need to buy their medicines. Whatever that is, put it in there. It's going to take you 30 minutes a week. Maybe you have kids. I have kids, and one of my rules is to uh, I need to help, help my son with his homework. Okay, so children homework. And I know that his homework takes, uh, and my goal for him is that he gets a good grade in his class, right? And for me, it takes me two to three hours for me to help him with his homework. He's a third grader goes to private school and the amount of homework is horrible it's just a lot so I make sure that I put down that it's two to three hours there okay I don't know why it does that um, so just put the number of hours there and actually this is just um, my cell that it's formatted incorrectly and you could correct that yourself <clears throat> okay and so at the end of it all, I need you to add the total number of hours of your all of your commitments. If you have more than six commitments, you could actually copy and paste another block and just add it here next, next to it, okay? Um, you're going to submit this electronically, so I don't really care what it looks like. You're not going to print this, and I don't want it to be looking pretty or whatever. So you could just copy and paste a new one if you need, if you, need, if you have more than six commitments, okay? And uh, just want to make sure that you write down everything. Be honest with yourself. This is to help you assess your, your, your commitments for the semester. And at the end of it all, I need to know how many hours per week you have committed yourself to. Okay? And then you need to tell me, are these goals attainable? Is this 
something you really think is going to allow you to be successful. And if you think it's not, then I need to know what you're going to do about it. Are you going to modify your schedule? Are you going to drop a course? Are you going to work less hours if, if your biggest commitment is work? Or you can't, you can't sacrifice work because you need to take care of family. So what are you going to do about it? Um, I'm not saying that it's not possible. I just want you to be reasonable with yourself and honest with yourself to see if this is something that you want to do. And then provide me with your name and ID number. And when you're done, save it and send it to me in an email. And I will give you credit for completing this, this worksheet as well. And I hope it helps you. I need some feedback to see if this exercise is something that is helpful to you. I hope so. Because, again, the goal is for you to be honest with yourself and make a real good judgment as to uh, your commitments for the semester and making sure that if they're reasonable, if not, to do something about it. This is the beginning of the semester. What I don't want you to do is be in the middle of the semester and realize that you've taken on too much and now you're not doing good in any of your classes. That's not good. It's better to assess and make sure that you commit yourself to something that you know that you're going to be successful for than actually over committing and then actually failing everything that you're trying to do. Okay? I hope that makes sense to you. That is all, folks, for this week. I know it seems like a lot, but it's not. This is it. That's all that you have to do for this week. Next week, we'll start with uh, Chapter 1 and we'll be getting our accounting course and our, our accounting principles but for this week it's just basically getting ready for us to be um, to get there so we're all on the same page we all have the textbook we all have the access code we all have um, our evaluation of our commitments and we've all introduced ourselves if you have any questions please let me know I'm available like I said via email via text message or be a phone, but just make sure that if it's only an emergency, you call my cell phone. Otherwise, just text me, okay? I look forward to a successful semester with each and every one of you. And um, I'm here to help you succeed. We will succeed together. I expect everybody to do well. As long as you try, you will do good in my class. Thank you for your time, and I will see you next week.